Work like hell and advertise. Do you get it? Work like hell, go to bed and early, early to rise. Work like hell and advertise. So you work your ass off and then you let the world know about your work. That's what it is all about. Let people know if you have a company, if you have a movie, if you do a sport. Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be doing two different types of dangling earrings. You can see that on the screen now. I've gone ahead to do a pair of each design. I'm going to be doing the other pairs with you here on this video. Before we get started, I would like to say a massive thank you if you're watching me for the first time today. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, I would entreat you to, to subscribe and hit on the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video is uploaded. You would also see at the bottom right hand corner of um, this video, there is a button called join. You can hit on that button and become a subscriber of this channel. This helps us bring you quality videos as well as um, inspiring videos to keep you going as you get on your crafting journey. Now let's get on with today's tools and materials as you can see in front of me. Obviously I've got the beads I'm going to be using, I've got my hardware, I've got my pliers, I've got um, my uh, wire that I'll be using today. I'm going to talk you through it. So for this particular design I'd used the seven millimeters twisted bugle beads in turquoise color and for this one i had used uh, the iridescent beads six millimeters as well i have two earring hooks for each pair i've got my jump rings i've got my pliers i have my round nose plier here i have my flat nose plier i've got my cutter as well and for my beading wire i have a gauge 26 in gold tarnish free to use i've got my ruler to measure out my the length of my wire okay you can use a tape measure whatever um, you wish to use is entirely up to you so let's get on with today's tutorial video i'm going to measure out um 24 inches in length of my tarnish free wire i'm going to cut it and we're going to start uh, working with it from there on so let's go ahead and do this design here i'm going to move this out of the way and get started with that one right i know definitely that my beading wire is quite long but i prefer to work with a longer length to give me enough working room okay for my design i'm going to pick on my first bead send it to the center of my i'm going to send it to the center of my um wire like that okay i'm going to press it together and do about two turns in there okay so two turns bring me to this then i'm going to split out my wire into two on my right wire i'm going to drop another bead onto it bring it quite close to my first bead i twisted in place and give myself a little bit of room to twist that as well in place so I'll do two turns, maximum three turns, and we leave it at that, okay? Now I'm going to repeat the same for this other end as well. Send it all the way down, okay? And then twist it into place now make sure that they are at equal length um, on the opposite side so whatever you have on this side you should be having the same thing on um, this bit as well now i'm going to bring my two threads into the center and give myself about two three turns or twist into that one as well so one two and three okay so that will give you this now we are going to go ahead so we've done this and that you're going to go ahead and do this set of three beads here okay now i'm going to grab one arm of my beading wire i'm going to drop my first bead onto it 
So whatever you do on the on one side, you repeat the same thing on the opposite side as well, right? I'm going to give myself some working length like we did earlier. Enough to put two, maximum three turns in there for this one. So one, two, three. That should be enough for this design. Bring my wire up again. That same wire get my next bead onto it okay now this time around I'm going to give myself enough length now this is what I did so my next length is going to be about here giving myself enough room because I want to stagger the length of this particular one here and I'm going to put my in about four twists in the one two three four and that will give me that so i'm trying to do a bunch of three here so one two three now i'm going to grab my third bead and drop it onto it as well i'm going to make sure that this third bead is lining up with this one here okay I'm going to bring my beading wire over it and put about two maximum three twists in this particular one two, one so that makes it three okay now I'm going to get my beading wire back into the center and we are going to repeat what we've done here over here as well okay okay so now this is what i have you can see that whatever i have on this end as a set of three i have the same thing here as well and i'm i'm like i'm loving it seriously i'm loving this design so whatever you do you have to make sure you bring your beading uh, wires back into the center now we've done one two three that is here one two three we've done this three set one two three one two three one two three now we are left with just one of these ones on each side to finish off this earring all right so i'm going to um, get one on each side now you always have to look at the pattern you're working with and drop your bead up to that level okay so here and then i put my twist in place make it a bit shorter put my twist in place and then we take it from there okay so i'm going to be doing the same thing bring my thread back up repeat the same thing for this end here as well and twist it back in place as well okay now when we've done for the last bead we bring the beading thread together and twist them all together i'm going to give myself enough twisted length so you twist it up now what we are doing at this point is this bit here okay to get our loop and then we put our earring connector onto it so i'm going to keep twisting so i've gotten enough length to work with now this is what we have okay i'm going to grab my round nose plier because at this point we want to be doing this hook but we want to give ourselves enough length here to work with it now at that point we are looking at about from here to here we are looking at about half of a centimeter okay so half of a centimeter up to here and that's where i'm going to be doing my loop all right and i'm going to wrap my earring with that it looks like i have to make it a bit longer i'm going to go up a bit some more make my loop and wrap my earring up and twist the ends 
and twist the rest of the wire around the should I call it stem yeah I'm beginning to love this design it's beautiful so I think I've done enough of my twist I'm going to bring it to the back and that's where I'm going to be ending it and cutting it off there great now I'll grab my plier and tuck it under here Now let's push everything back in place. Brilliant. So I'm going to grab my jump ring with the help of another flat nose plier. Just my jump ring open, connect it to my earring and then put on top of that my earring hook okay so there we go and close it back up okay now great i totally like I totally love the outcome of this earring I'm going to put it onto my display there we go so now we have a pair of earrings I'm just going to grab a back put it here to lock it in and there we go we have a beautiful set of leafy earrings so we've come to the end of this particular project watch out for a video on this one here i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give our video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you've not done that already if you live in nottingham and you're listening to me we'll be doing all these projects in uh in-person workshops at broxtow children's center to have more information on this workshop um, you can visit our website i'll be dropping all the information um, in the description box below you can also call us if you require more information on that these workshops are free to unemployed women stay home moms or women with caring responsibilities and those on low income living in nottingham however if you want to join our workshops but you don't meet these criteria you have to pay for your workshop there are a number of services we offer for workshops on our website I would like you to take a look at them and get in touch if you would like us to organize special or group workshops for you, for your organization, for parties, hand parties, whatever event you're looking for to bring in people together, we'll be able to put a beautiful and engaging workshop together for your event. Now, until we meet again in our next tutorial video for that, have a brilliant day and take care. Bye.